Joining us now via phone from Minnesota is Professor Abdi Samatar of the University of Minnesota. Welcome to the show, Professor. Pleasure to be with you, Vincent. Let's go to the beginning. Really, what are the root causes of piracy off the Somali coast? I think there are two kinds of piracies. One is what I call international resource piracies, who have been exploiting Somali fisheries for the last 20 years. And these include Japanese, Taiwanese, Indian, Italian ships. And the second are Somali pirates who are hijacking international merchant marines. So those are the two causes. And the basis of both of these is the absence of a legitimate central government that has a capacity in the country to watch its waters, both from outsiders and from insiders. Now, from what you know, from your understanding of the area, what is the best approach, both uh, regionally and from the international community, to the elimination of piracy in this region? I think the best approach in eliminating both piracies is for the international community and the African Union not to support one political faction in the country because that has led us down the wrong road before, but to actually push the reconciliation process so that, given that Sheikh Hassan Dahir Awais, one of the major leaders of the former Union of the Islamic Courts, has just got back to Mogadishu, is to put a new coalition government that's legitimate, that supports the people's will for peace, and then you can talk about providing resources for those to be able to watch their coast. But if you simply just either put, put a flotilla of navies on the, on the high seas or simply put, put, bring more guns to the Somalis in the form of the Somali government, then I think under, under the present circumstances that will not solve the problem. Uh, given that uh, we have uh, in the recent past seen the U.S. Uh, very, uh, you know, uh, effectively rescue uh, the captain who was uh, uh, taken captive there, is that one of the ways that you think can be working in the short term before there's a Somali government in place that can take I, care? I, I think, Vincent, if you look back at the history of 2006, so when the country was mainly under the uh, sort of a sway of the Union of the Islamic Courts, piracy almost disappeared. So the short duration, maybe if it's just literally a few months, that uh, the kind of operations that are taking place should be sustained, while also minding the ships that are looting Somali resources. But in the next six months, I'm quite confident that if the international community plays a serious role of putting together a legit, help Somalis put together a legitimate Somali government that controls most of the regions, not only eight miles of strips in Mogadishu, that the piracy issue will disappear before the end of the year in my assessment. And uh, very briefly, who do you think currently is really the true beneficiary of all the money that is coming from piracy? I think mostly criminals, uh, like sort of the underground world or the mafia. There are particular criminals who are engaged in that. So that's one group who are uh, benefiting from the piracies that we have heard of. The other beneficiaries of the piracies are the Japanese, Taiwanese economies, who have by and large looted something in the order of about 70 million Somali fisheries over the last few years. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Abdi Samatar. That is Professor Abdi Samatar of the University of Minnesota joining us uh, from the Twin Cities. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye.